Yo, yo, YouTube. This is my video for Tuesday, the 4th of June, which is today. And um, I'll uh, give my stats first based on my fuel price averaging 13.84 pence per mile. Today, when I get home, I will have driven for 368 miles. 368. I will have worked for 13 and a quarter hours. I will have worked for three CX jobs and uh, 235 pounds. My fuel costs today are 50 pounds and 93 pence, effectively 51 pounds. And that means my earnings after fuel today, 184 pounds. Um, I'm sort of settling into my new strategy which I'll tell you again at the end of this video or well, some, some principles behind it at least um, but uh, let's see how it went so today I had my first job booked in from yesterday it was going from Spalding to Nanita it was a 9 o'clock pick up and I was about 15 minutes away from the pick-up point. Um, it was about, I don't know how many miles, let's say five miles, six miles. And um, I left at 8.45, arrived at the front doors at uh, nine o'clock, uh, but didn't get off site. And well, I didn't get loaded eventually until 9.30. And that job was for a, a small van. It was 80 loaded miles, 80. And I bid and won that for 70 pounds. It was described as being 11 boxes, but that was all it was, which was not very helpful because this is a place that produces plants and so the boxes could refer to their product, plants, or could refer to anything, stationery, returns of clothing, um, anything. And obviously the plants that they're producing, they're collected from the warehouse, but other boxes are collected from the, from the reception. So I went to reception, there were boxes in reception, but there wasn't 11 of them. I rang the bell, no one came. I spoke to the shipper and just checked if they know what I was collecting. And they didn't know other than 11 boxes. So I went to the warehouse and uh, eventually I was shown a pallet full of quite large boxes of what must have been their produce. And that pallet would never have fitted onto a small van. It was about 1.6, maybe 1.5 metres high. And um, it would fit on my van fine, so I had no issue with it. But um, I did have a bit of an issue with the lack of understanding of what we were carrying from the shipper's point of view. Um, and luckily, I was able to take it. So, I got to Nuneaton at and was offloaded at 11.25. And then I was looking for my second job of the day. And a call came in at 11.40. I had bid on a few, there was a, quite a few jobs around to bid on, so I was bidding quite a lot at this time. And a call came through eventually for one of my bids, and it's from, from Nuneaton, where I was, going to Northwich. CW9, I think it was. And, uh, it was asking for 
a three meter long van and um, I assumed and it said in the notes sorry I'm just going to run around it said in the notes that um, there was a three meter um, metal rod but nothing else was mentioned so I was quite I quite like those ones because a three meter metal or any, any three meter item you're never going to get a small van or a mid-sized van bidding on those. So they have to go on um, a longer van, my sort of van or longer. But they're not always. There's not often a lot of um, messing about bulk to them. It's usually easiest easy to get them on and off the van. Um, so it just it, it narrows down the competition for the job and because I was so close to it I bid what I thought was a, a pretty fair price. I bid £90 for what was it, a medium well based job and it was going 89 loaded miles. I was around about Three miles away from the pickup, ten minutes away, and it was due to be picked up at, uh, at twelve o'clock. And I got this call at eleven forty, so I had plenty of time to get there. And I was getting a bit early for the pickup. So I did arrive just about five to twelve, but by the time I was seen by a member of the staff, it was 12 o'clock, and uh, then we got what well, was one pallet which they had to wrap up while I was there, and then this long metal bar which was really quite heavy. I didn't put it on the van, there's two guys to put it on. Um, I made sure it was strapped down with two straps, and the pallet was actually quite small and quite light. So at this point, I was off site at 12.15 on my way to Northwich. And I was feeling like I had a pretty good chance of getting a, a good job back at the end of that time. And by the time I got to... The, the traffic was... Yeah, so this trip was a bit awkward. So, I think if there was no issues... I mean, the M6 North... I ended up coming off the M6 at Junction 17 in the end, um, but uh, all the junctions up to that point for about 16, so 8, 19, 18, and 17, there was loads of congestion on the M6. People were trying to come off the junctions, and there was congestion on the M6 itself. So when I put the um, Sat Nav destination in from Nuneaton, it was saying one and three quarter hours. Now I'm guessing that if there's no congestion, it's probably more like one and a half hours. But I was really reluctant to get myself stuck on the M6. It's a bad motorway at the best of times. But when there's an accident or stuff going on, it can get very, very difficult to traverse. And I also didn't want to go on the toll road, I didn't want to pay the toll road. So I followed my sat nav initially, and that took me, using the quickest route, in, onto the toll road. And I didn't want to pay that, so I came off before the toll and went kind of cross country uh, across the north of Birmingham, ignoring the motorway. And the road I was using was the A446 to Litchfield, which kind of winds alongside the M6 toll. Um, and I, did, I found that road really quite good because I was going 50 miles an hour pretty much all the way along. It's a good quality A road. Um, I didn't feel I was missing out on much time. Then I got to the sort of base of the M6 where it heads north. And I had a decision, decision to make now. Do I go on the M6 or do I try and stick to A roads? And I decided that I would go on the M6 before the... Uh, and come off before the junction that was really busy. But by the time I got north, junction 18 was busy, 
so I just stayed on Junction 17 and came off um, the usual at the, at the right point. But the point I'm making is that it was slower than I would have liked. So by the time I got offloaded, it was five past three. And I had plenty of time still to find a decent job. My aim was to find something to going somewhere eastwards. Didn't really matter where. After yesterday, when I had a very a, a long, a lot of dead miles to get home and a lot of time, I wanted to be a bit more um, sensible about it and get some sort of work heading back towards home. But I'd only made by this point um, 160 pounds, which was a long way off what I wanted to make. So I was kind of hoping to make about a hundred pounds um, going back towards my home area. So it was five past three, I was in Northwich. I had choices of Manchester um, or Warrington really, uh, were good areas to get work from. And the traffic heading towards Manchester was getting worse and worse and worse on the maps. And I was about half an hour from Warrington, about half an hour from um, the, maybe a bit less than that from the M90, which is the uh, airport in Manchester. And I put, I put, bit, I put bits on quite a lot of work. I was about half an hour to 40 minutes away from most of it. I, I started to travel north. So and this is where I got a bit stuck between what to do. I, I could have gone south. So I was nowhere near the motorway at this point. I was probably about... Um, 15 minutes off the motorway. So I could have headed towards the motorway and gone south towards Birmingham, the West Midlands, and tried to get a job back home from there. But then what doing that would have meant I would have spent about half an hour to an hour driving, and then I would have ended up in an area, although it was closer to home, it may not have got me um, a job in time. Whereas I was much closer to Warrington and Manchester, and there was more jobs. So I kind of thought I'd better go northwards. But the problem with going northwards is I'm going further away from home. And it's always a risk. But so I didn't get too far. I went about 10 or 15 minutes on the road. Um, I did a bit of a job from Northwich to um, Stoke, I think it was. I didn't get that. Anyway, I put bits on quite a lot of jobs and I was going lower and lower and lower my prices. I was going sort of about 90p a mile for a small bike job, then 80p a mile. Then 70p a mile, and, I, and then even with them, a small, like a small, a small job, minimum price job, 40 pounds. 40 pounds. I was 20 minutes away from the pickup. Didn't get that, and I was really struggling to get work, and it was getting really frustrating. So basically, it was now five. Uh, sorry, 10 to five. And I still didn't have a job. I was rapidly running out of time to get anything going anywhere. I even considered getting a job going to obviously to London would be fine, or getting a job going even to the north east, just driving home from there, or Leeds. Um, but I was putting bids on quite low, not getting anything. There was a, a job that I thought I was going to get was dropping off in Huntingdon in the morning. One a bit on drop off in uh, Lincoln in the morning, which were both feasible for me to do, but nothing was coming through. Um, and in the end, there was a job that was from Widnes, which was about half an hour away from where I was, going to Derby, and um, I I rang them. I don't usually ring them. I put a bid in, and I rang, and I just said. You know, how's it how's my bed looking and they gave me the job now I don't like ringing but it didn't say not to ring I think as I've been doing this job for about a year or so more and more shippers put in their notes not to ring them so I think it's something that they don't really like So I don't tend to ring, but in this case I just I was quite desperate. And I rang and I got the job, and it was a job for a small van, 
94 loaded miles. I bid um, 70 pounds. It was like less than 70p a mile. No, it was more than 70p. More, more, a bit more than 70p a mile, was it? A bit more. Um, and I was 12 miles away, 35 minutes in the end. Uh, as I and I was, I, so as I got got the job, I went straight towards it. I was due to be there at half past five, but there was congestion in Warrington on the way up. So shipper did call me and said, "What time you get there?" And because we decided that I probably wasn't going to guarantee half past five, she told this customer. The customer asked me to go a bit further to um, press. I want to say Prescott. That's Liverpool way, and uh, go to um, a home instead of the business to collect the item. It's only a small van job; it's just a box. They just took it home with them, and then I picked it from the home rather than staying at, at their business. So I arrived at the pickup point at around about quarter to six in the end. And I got an extra five pounds for the extra miles. So I got £75 in the end for that. And then I made my way towards Derby and it's sort of um, east to the M6, down around the M6 and then up to Derby on the on the 852. And then it, the place I was going to was just east of Derby. But the M6 was just so congested uh, as I came down. I ended up just coming off and using A roads again. I came over to the lovely countryside. And I made it to the drop-off point at about, um, I want to say, about eight o'clock-ish, five past eight. Um, so it was about two and a quarter hours of driving in the end. But the thing about that afternoon, it was really like pulling teeth today. It was really difficult to get any bids after my uh, second job from Nuneaton. Uh, I had to go, I had to bid really low. But in the end, in the end, I did get a third job, which made the day, made the day okay. I got two hundred thirty-five pounds in the end, gross, which is not too bad. Not idea, but it's not too bad. Um, in terms of um, my strategy, the kind of things I'm trying to do, um, I may be repeating myself, but they are kind of worth mentioning. I'm trying to get a job booked in the morning the day before. It doesn't matter what um, what money I get for it. I was like, oh, well, okay, at, at least sixty pounds. And it needs to be reasonably early, sort of eight, nine at the early, nine at the latest pick up. But the earlier the better. And then I'm aiming to get a second job when I've delivered that first job, going around about a hundred, uh, about a hundred pounds worth. So about a hundred miles worth, let's say, about a pound a mile. And I'm trying to avoid going to the south of the country and London at this point. So I'm sort of heading towards the East Midlands, West Midlands, North West, that sort of area. And then for my third job, which I'm, I'm trying to get that done by midday, then for my third job I'm just trying to do a £40 job, minimum price job, wherever I end up, depending on the time, and then try and get something in the region of £70 to £100 getting me back towards the East. I don't really even care if, I, if I'm not that close to home because once I've done those four jobs, as long as when I've demoed at home, I've got my targets. That strategy is kind of working, and I'm getting home every night, and it's you know it's better than mock dropping anyway. <laughs> So that's my strategy really, kind of going west and then heading back towards east. It's um, Today was harder than it has been the last two days, but it has worked so far pretty well. Um, what I'm avoiding doing is taking those jobs to Scotland and to Cornwall and to, and to London in the middle of the day. 
Um, I would take a job to London as my last job of the day, if I get the right sort of money for it. But I need to be a bit careful about that. It's, it's judging that getting it home again is really difficult. But if I do like a £60 job, a £100 job, and a £40 job, that's my first three jobs of the day, that's £200. Which can be pretty good. And then I've got to get my fuel money home from wherever I am. So like a £70 job or a £100 job from there, but we'll, we'll always pay for the fuel. So there's my, there's my strategy. It's a bit more restrictive than I used to do, but it's still fun. It's still interesting. Every day is different. And it does give me a bit of control over where I end up. Um, yeah, so that's that. I um, Also today, I was looking from about 10 o'clock for jobs for the morning. And I've been on quite a few stuff, but um, I didn't get anything until really late on, after I got my last job of the day, when I was giving up on everything else. I got a call and I got given a job for tomorrow. So I do have a job for tomorrow. It's a small one, but again, I have got that. So I'm now on my way home. It's going to be a late one. It's going to be about 10 o'clock. Uh, I'm about an hour and 10 minutes away from home at the moment. Oh yeah, one quick thing. <laughs> um, there is, um, I live in a reasonably rural area and there is a road that's closed on the way to my house. And I always forget about it as I go home, this, this route. And now I just remember it's going to be closed. I have to find another route home. So um, I'm going to have to work out a bit more of a, a circuitous route to get home than I would have done otherwise. So it may not be 10 o'clock tonight. It might, not be, it might be more like quarter past 10. Anyway, thank you very much for listening to this video. I hope that you are all successful, however you choose to find that word for yourself. And I'll see you tomorrow. Farewell, friends.